Hey, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark, and this is episode one, part one of Too Many Plugins. This is going to be a really long series where we discuss uh, free plugins of all kinds, VSTs, uh, bundle things that are bundled with DAWs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and uh, first is going to be the Versillian Studios Chamber Orchestra, and part one is going to be just strings. Uh, so let's take a listen to that, and then we'll discuss uh, all there is to discuss about VSCO strings. Uh, part two will be woodwinds and brass. Part three will be percussion, if you're uh, hanging on for those. Let's listen. <laughs> Okay, so this is Versillian Studios Chamber Orchestra, and you will hear that piece again. Uh, it was originally I, I was writing for the entire orchestra. I wanted to use all the instruments, and I did the strings first. And I was so happy with the way this came out that I said, I've got to say this is a string quintet. This needs to be talked about on its own because uh, I just thought, man, this sounds great. Um, so... Uh, you'll hear that piece again completely fleshed out in part two. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, in my shootout video where I was discussing free orchestral libraries, um, I was a little bit harsh on VSCO. And uh, I should say up front, I'm using the Big Cat version of VSCO. Uh, and if uh, there's, there's multiple versions... And uh, you can download the waves and build an instrument yourself, uh, in, which is awesome if you are so inclined. Um, this Big Cat version is a VST, so pretty much everybody can use it. Um, but it is uh, built like a contact instrument. Um, your yellow notes here are for key switching. Uh, we got arco vibrato, we got pizzicato, we got tremolo, we got uh, spiccato and then Arco Vibrato Forte, Arco Vibrato Piano. So uh, you can switch between all your different articulations, doing the key switching, which is very nice. Um, it prevents you from having duplicates of, you know, five, five versions of the same instrument and, and switching between tracks um, and, and can save a little CPU power. I was a little bit tough on VSCO in my free library shootout free orchestra library shootout and um and i'm gonna blame myself for that because i did not take the time that i should have to get the best possible outcome um and that's what i found when i was working on on this this quintet and then when i added the other instruments later is you have to take your time you have to pay attention to a lot of little details but Paying attention to those details really pays off in the long run, and you can get a much better quality sound out of VSCO. Um, there are a couple of, of little quirks to it that you definitely want to be aware of, and we'll cover those. Um, so first, uh, let's talk about this principal violin, or I've called it principal violin. It is the it is the solo violin instrument. Um, here's uh, here's all your instruments there. Um, and so there's a violin section and a violin, and this is a solo violin. And, um, it has great sound. Uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of the instruments don't have multiple velocity levels, uh, for the hits. Uh, some do, some don't. It's a little hit or miss. So you kind of just have to be aware if you're writing on a note that you, there's some instruments where you're going to get the same note over and over. You're going to get the same sample, uh, repeated over and over. Um, and with, uh, I believe with both of the, uh, Arco Vibrato Piano and the Arco Vibrato Forte, both of these just have one sample port per note. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, it's the same sample, uh, loud or soft. So just something to be aware of there. Um, and I keep trying to click on this and change the articulation. I'm not using a contact instrument. Um, so and then the regular arco vibrato. So I think that's probably the same, the same samples from the piano and the forte, uh, but they are, you know, they're combining one instrument here. Um, so, and, and the key, the, the, there, there's some weirdness on, on several instruments I noticed where um, it will flip to the other articulation and it will be the volume will jump um, that like they're not quite normalized exactly the way you want them to be uh, in some cases. And again, this is a free instrument, so I am not nitpicking. Uh, I can deal with that um, for the quality of what this is free instrument. I'll take it. So, so just be aware if you're going from soft to loud, sometimes, sometimes it's just going to jump between those two. Um, the pizzicato strings, one of my favorites. Um, I think I'm playing all instruments at once here. Duh, don't do that. So let's just listen to the one. I love the pizzicato strings in VSCO. Um, all of them, all the different instruments, I think they sound great. Um, so um, the spiccato, similar deal. I keep doing the same thing. You can't click on that. That's not a drop down. Very smooth uh, volume there, but the sample I don't think is changing. Tremolo, where are you? Does this not have tremolo? Yeah, there it is, tremolo. Great tremolo sound. Um, played with lots of different free ones, and that's one of my favorites. Um, let's let's switch quickly to the violin section. Um, so the violin section, uh, does sound a little bit more like a section. It's a small section. It's a chamber orchestra. So if you want to have 20 violins, then you can stack your, uh, stack this, what's called a section, and then you will begin to have an actual section. So in the same way that the principal violin has single velocities for a lot of things, you get a lot of that same thing. Um, and... And so it is more than one violin playing, or at least a, or at least there's a, it's just doubled or something, but it sounds like it's more than one violin that's been sampled. Um, and it's, and it sounds pretty lush when you do a chord. I mean, that's pretty dang nice, uh, for free, mind you. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over for free. Um, so, so articulation wise, pizzicato. Uh, which I love, Tr tremolo, which I love, um, spiccato, very useful. And then for when you're always going to be loud or you're always going to be soft, you got your arco vibrato forte and your vibrato piano. Um, and uh, I think a lot of the same things that apply to the principal violin, that single solo violin, they apply here. Uh, let's talk about cello. All right, so cello, um, well, so we got really good range because this is like that's the top end of the cello. And again, sounds like it's probably just a uh, single sample repeated. Now that one is that one has a little has a little round robin action going back and forth. Um, at least a couple samples, it sounds like. Um, so, so it's going to vary a little bit. Um, arco vibrato. So you def definitely have your you have two different samples there for sure. Uh, 
I'm gonna make so so uh, comment on you hear that da 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 da. So I was using this on another piece, and I kept hearing a note double at the attack, and I was going a little crazy because I was like, "What is this? Why is it doing it?" And I started going through all my instruments trying to find which one is doing it, and I could never figure it out. Um, and um, and it was another note. It wasn't that note, but some of them have it, some of them don't. And it was actually, um, it was rotating. It was around round robin. So it was, sometimes it would play and sometimes it wouldn't. And uh, and I couldn't figure it out. But that's something to be aware of because that that's something that can kind of that could affect the outcome of your piece um, if it's doing that kind of double hit. So that's sort of weird that it has that kind of double attack. But it is what it is. You know. Um, it's for free. it's free. Other articulations. So same things as before. Very lush sounding cello. So the spiccato is a good example of what I was talking about earlier uh, in regards to paying attention to the details, uh, because the spiccato, if you just let go. See, if I hold it down, you have this long sustain. It's really nice. And you can adjust the sustain here, but because it key switches, because there's key switching, they're not, I'm saying sustain, I mean release. Duh. Um, so you can adjust the release, but because of the key switching, you may not want to be messing with that release too much. So so there I get, I get to keep my long release, but I don't want that with sustain. Yeah, so that doesn't work for me. Um, so uh, with some of these free libraries, uh, or all kinds of things, um, you know, you kind of you have to be attentive and make sure, like, okay, am I getting my decay at the end of my note? And um, with VSCO, you definitely have to. This is all the instruments. Um, you have to make sure that you've extended the note for the length, or if you're using a foot pedal, then you know you're you're holding down the foot pedal, whatever the case may be. Uh, really quickly, let's talk about viola. You know, I shouldn't say really quickly because viola is one of my favorite instruments, um, one of the underappreciated instruments. But I love it that you know it's the middle ground uh, between your cello and your violin, and it's got that low C. I love that. I love that bottom string on the viola, and uh, and and then it has the high. It can do a lot of the high stuff, same as a violin. It's just it's a bigger fiddle, you know. Um, so same articulations. So a lot of a lot of the same stuff applies here. Um, so uh, it it doesn't get all the love it should because it's viola and it's it's in a supporting role ninety nine percent of the time, but. It's this is a solid viola. Um, it seemed like when I was using it, it might be a little bit quieter. If memory serves, I had to do a little bit of adjusting on some of the volume levels specifically for viola. So that's something to pay attention to. I'm gonna quickly go over the contrabass, which I should not do quickly, but have to. Um, I am a contrabass player. So with contrabass, it's a little different here. So um, number one, make sure that uh, if you don't notice the key switching up here, it's up here. It's not down there. It's up here. So the yellow notes, you got a key switch at the other end of the keyboard for this. Um, but we've got our sustain. It's not referred to as Arco for some reason, even though it's Arco, um, but it's sustain um, pizzicato. There's more than one sample. For some notes anyway. So that's that's just kind of hit or miss there. Uh, vibrato. So definitely two different volume, uh, two different samples there. Um, so again, on some notes, so spiccato and the spiccato here, I thought was a little bit long on some of these notes. So another thing to be aware of, um, some of the spiccatos are longer than others. Um, tremolo sounds great. 
it sounds very real. I mean, that this is an instrument I'm intimately familiar with, uh, and and I really liked that. I mean, it's not perfect, um, but I like that it's not perfect. Um, so the sustain, uh, the two different sustain volumes, forte and piano. Same deals with all the other instruments that it's uh, the same samples they're used in the sustain. They're just uh, cut out to be by themselves. So if you're doing something where it's a whole whole section, it's all going to be pia piano or you just want to make sure it doesn't have uh, a more aggressive attack, then that's the time to use those. Um, I think that's it for, uh, for VSCO strings. So um, see you on part two, which is going to be brass and woodwinds. I hope you have enjoyed this. Cheers.